In this video, I will compare DocuSign versus Adobe Sign and tell you which of these e-signature tools may be best for you and your needs. So make sure to watch until the end so that you don't make a wrong decision and end up wasting your time and money. So first, I'll quickly go over what exactly you can do with them and basically what the benefits of both of them are. Then I'll go over their pricing and give you my recommendation on which one I would pick. So on DocuSign on their products here, you can see some of the things it does. So the main thing is e-signatures, and that is the most similar thing to Adobe Sign. Now you can see on top of the e-signatures that allow you to send, sign, and track documents, you also have contract lifecycle management, identifying document generation, web forms, so you can even replace type form, or any other form builder you're using using DocuSign. Then you have electronic notarization, multi-channel delivery, and APIs, which means you can integrate with a whole lot of different apps and softwares. Now they do offer some more things, but these are the main features and capabilities of DocuSign. Now if you go to Adobe Sign, you can see the things it does here. So it helps you of course collect signatures. So both of them allow you to add some kind of a signature field into any type of document and then email it to the people that need to sign it. And then they can really easily sign it without needing to create an account or anything like that. And those signatures are legally binding, which is of course what you want. Then you can also track and manage your documents so see who has signed it and you have powerful PDF tools. So for example, you can create, edit, sign and collaborate on PDFs, manage signatures, boost productivity and more. Now you can also send in bulk. You have integrations with different tools such as Salesforce and you can add your branding to the documents. Now everything you see right here is also included in DocuSign. So basically they do very similar things, but DocuSign does do more. And that is a pretty important distinction. Now, if you look at their plans and pricing, if you just want to get the e-signature, you can see right here, the e-signature plan, you have personal, standard, business pro, and then the enhanced plans. And if you bill annual, you will save up to 44%. So monthly, it's a bit more expensive. Now the most popular plan is the standard plan for small to medium teams that need to send, sign and collaborate, where you can share templates, add comments, use your own branding, and, and then also everything in the personal plan. Now the price here is per user per month. So if you have five users, then it will already be 220 then it will already be $225 per month. Now you also have a product specifically for real estate and a developer API. So for most people, it will probably be either the personal $15 per month plan or the standard $45 per month per user plan. Now with Adobe Sign, it is included in your Adobe package. So if you already have the Adobe suite of tools, then it is included in your plan. However, here you can also see the pricing for only the Adobe e-signatures. So you have the business and individuals plans. Now you can choose to pay annually, annually prepaid or monthly. Now you can also do annual paid monthly, but then you cannot cancel it during the year that you have the subscription for. So if you want to do monthly as well here, then you can see the pricing plans that they have. And for example, if you have annual, then Acrobat standard is $13 per month and Acrobat Pro is $19.99 per month. Now, if you're using it for a business, again, you have annual monthly and annual prepaid, and it's $14.99 per month per license right here. And then for Teams, it's $23.99, which here is the most popular plan. Now, the AI Assistant is an add-on for $5. Now, if you get the Adobe Creative Cloud, you can get it for individuals or businesses, then that is $90 per month. And as you can see right here, these are all the apps included in this plan. One of them is Acrobat Pro. And as you see here, Acrobat Pro includes the PDF and e-signatures. So when I would personally recommend to use Adobe Sign is when you already have the Creative Cloud, either for an individual or business. And you can see again right here how much those cost. So Creative Cloud all apps, $90 per month per license. And for individuals, it's $60 per month. So if you already have that plan or you are also looking to use, for example, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, or any of these other apps, then I would personally just get the Adobe Creative Cloud since that will save you money. And if you're just looking to collect signatures, 
and basically have documents signed, then Adobe Acrobat Pro or Adobe Sign will help you do that. But if you're looking for a more advanced tool, then I would go with DocuSign and especially if you don't use any other Adobe apps because DocuSign is more advanced and it offers very good features that are not included in Adobe Sign, such as the web forms, the contract lifecycle management and more. So if you're looking for the best e-signature tool out of these two, then that is DocuSign. But if you're just looking to send basic documents for signatures to people, then Adobe Sign will also help you do that. And if you're already using other Adobe products, it is included in your cloud subscription. So that concludes this comparison of DocuSign versus Adobe Sign. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.